in all honesty, most of us normal people who are living outside of Ukraine and are not affected by the war between Ukraine and Russia, we hope to do something about it. But what do we do? We're not exactly rich. We don't uh, have connections and we absolutely know nothing about how to extend our help. And yeah, here are a couple of ways that, you can, that we can do. Well, the first one is pretty um, obvious. The first one is um, to donate to credible uh, organizations that have like you know online donation forums, and you can you know contribute whatever you can. It doesn't have to be big, and it doesn't have to be magnificent. But if you can pull your friends together, or you can do it on your own, donate if you can. If there's a rally going on uh, on in your country or around where you're living. Um, consider joining them and, you know, let your voice be heard. And of course, um, the rest of the, world, of the world, unlike Ukraine and, and Russia, um, social media remains to be one of the most, uh, the biggest, most effective um, rallying points and spreading of proper, real information on the internet. And um, yeah, make your voice be heard. If you can write something up, share it around, uh, and yeah, I'll make videos like this. There's an interesting thing that I found on the internet, and that, that was like, you know, people booking up BNB um, in Ukraine um, to, you know, just to help the people in U Ukraine who, whose buildings have not been bombed or destroyed. So basically, you can do that too. And one of the things that I found to be useful as well, if you don't want to donate to like UNHCR or any of the AmeriCares or other, uh, you know, um, donation platforms, what you can do is support um, food programs because definitely they're running out of food. And if you have the address for the people who are in direct contact with um, the refugees from Ukraine, you can uh, uh, arrange for winter clothing for them because it's freezing temperature out there. And this one is even simpler. If you um, know of a brand or a company that actively supports uh, products from Ukraine, buy from them and support them. It's an indirect way of actually making a point. And one such example is uh, it's, it's like the people on Etsy, and this is something that I saw on uh, on one of the news platforms. Can you see this? Well, basically, if you purchase products like this, and you're actually directly supporting the people of Ukraine. So let your actions and words count for something when you can.